What's up guys, so I've finally sorted out my computer, which means we can start doing bigger and better games, but we're going to do Human Fall Flat for this one, because I didn't really have much time to get this recording done. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it, we're doing Temple today, now I have done this level before, because this is the level that I did when my recordings kept corrupting, so yeah, I'm just going to run through it quickly, and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, drop that like, subscribe, all that stuff, and let's go. So, I know exactly where we're going, obviously, done it all before, up on there. Now, I have to say, this level is actually a really nice level. It looks beautiful. It really does. They've done so well making it. But one thing I don't like about it, they've not put in checkpoints in the right places for some of it, which is really annoying. But, yeah, so off we go. Now, this bit's a little bit boring because we have to get our swing going. And you know that on this game, I don't like it when we have to get a swing going. It takes forever to do. But this is the only bit where I actually have to do that. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's all right. And because I've done it before, I'm actually hoping not to die this time. This is the probably the hardest bit to do with dying. Because obviously, oh, you have to try and swing onto that one. There we go. So now, hopefully hopefully we won't die anymore all right on there need to lower ourselves down get the swing going come on this, this was quite a challenging level when i first did it though this took me forever to figure out this next bit coming up so when i rush through it you'll see how simple it really is but i'll explain it as i go for what i actually did wrong and then yeah you sort of understand why this level could be quite challenging because we need to get over onto that left bit over there. And if we just swing off, there we go. Up on the plank. Obviously, you're supposed to use the plank to get over there. But obviously, the plank tips as you run up it. So, it creates a little bit of a problem. But, if you come over this way. Over here. Oh, so much walking again. As you can see, these things have bits on top of them. Except for this one. Which falls down. We can knock that one down. These ones don't fall down, the ones with the bits on top. They're all planted insecurely. And it is this one as well that comes down. So you take these. And this is why it's quite a challenging level. Because this bit is really... like It took me forever to figure out what we were actually doing with it. Um, I kind of need to be in between those. There we go. We can pick that up, pick that up, and bring these over. So, yeah, it's really simple when you figure it out. The reason I actually figured it out before was I accidentally knocked down one of these. That's the only reason I actually figured it out. I didn't notice that they didn't have bits on top of them. But, yeah, so once you knock them down, it's actually quite simple to figure out. That just goes in there. If we run over, grab that end bit. I know this is a slightly different video, though, because obviously, normally, my human full flat levels I've never done before. So, yeah, it's a little bit, little bit different doing it this way. But I hope there's still a good video for you. It's just going to be a little bit weird because you're not going to have my natural reaction to the challenges in a level. It's just, it's going to be a little bit strange, really. It's sort of more of a walkthrough than a playthrough. Because obviously I know what I'm doing. So if we grab that, we then need to grab that. Oh, no. okay, I messed up. I messed up. <laughs> We've got to try and keep that up like that. And I have really messed up. Wow, okay. Well, I should be able to fix it by doing this, really. If we do that and walk underneath it and then grab that bit. There we go. Yeah, we managed to fix it still. We're all good. We're all good. I didn't mess it up too bad. This bit is really annoying though. Because it's actually really clever what the creator's done. Where you have to use those little bamboo sticks to try and create a bridge with the plank. Now, it is quite hard to do though. Because as you can see, it's really hard to get it lined up. Really hard. Because you can't just climb up either. It's... It's really weird. Oh, no, no. Did I just die? No, I didn't. Right, we're going to drop that, and we're going to back off again. It's really awkward to do. Really, really awkward. But I shouldn't die on this level. 
because when I first played it, I didn't die. It was actually the first one that I've ever played where I haven't died. And that's why it annoyed me so much that my computer messed up, because obviously that's quite an achievement for me. Right, let's come back and grab this. Let's try this again. We don't want to go too high up, because otherwise it messes up. It's still trying to mess up on me again. Right. Come on. Right. Put that on there. If we just push that round like that. I'm hoping this will work a little bit better than trying to create a proper bridge. If I put those bamboo bits at an angle going inwards. Right. Come on. Oh, it's so awkward. No, this just isn't working for me. Oh, it's so fiddly. It really is. So fiddly. Right. If we can. No. Jesus. <laughs> it's so hard to get it lined up. I think I put that one too far in. I think I need it. About there should be fine. It just takes a lot of working out how to move this plank, really. That's the hardest bit of this. Is just trying to... If we can climb up on there. Right, let's um no, that's put it at an angle again. Ooh, it's annoying. Come on, little legs. But yeah, what do you guys think of little legs new outfit? Normally I have him mainly in red, but I've kind of matched him up to what I wear. So uh, I hope it looks nice. I hope you guys like little legs new style. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Oh please. The thing is, the longer this takes for me to sort out, the longer the video is. And I don't want it to be that long a video. I'm just trying to... Right, we need to get up on there. But then that falls and... I think it's because... I, th I think this level was probably designed for multiplayer. And, yeah, it's probably easier to line all this up on multiplayer. Because, obviously, you can angle it better. Other people can see better and... Right, let's do that, and we're just going to try. Oh, that's not going to work right. We need to try and tuck that. Come on. I don't know if I've actually got hold of it. It's so annoying. It's so fiddly. It's such a good idea, but it does not. Yeah. <laughs> it's... Come on. Surely that's enough. Surely. We just need to... Oh, it's so annoying, guys. It really is. I think the most annoying bit about it... There we go. If we put that there. Is this little gap here? It's so buggy because you get stuck in it. It's so awkward. But, as you can see, I've now created the bridge. So then all you have to do is run along it. Jump off the edge. Perfect distance. It's an absolutely brilliant design. But the holes are just too big through... The rocks, they should have made smaller holes so it's easier to line up. But yeah, it's still a pretty good idea. I like that. And then we've got a lovely Stonehenge. And no checkpoint. So if I die, I've then got to walk all the way across that again. It's so... Oh, it really is annoying. Right. Up the path. Come on. Up we go. Hopefully I won't die. I didn't die before, so I shouldn't die this time. I know that there are bits which can be a little bit tricky, so there is a chance of me dying still, even though I've done this before. It's just one of those things. Right, onto Stonehenge. And I love these things because they wobble. Yeah, they're so awesome. Right, on there. They scare the life out of me, though, because you can't do a run up and jump. You have to sort of run forward, do that. And then if I was to run forward now and do a run up, it tilts it backwards. So you sort of have to have a short run up like that. It's horrible. But it's still a good idea. Ooh. And I have to say as well, this game looks absolutely beautiful in 4K. Really does look beautiful in 4K. Yeah, I kind of upgraded my computer quite well. <laughs> I'm actually doing 4K gaming now, which is pretty nice. Right, do you know what? I think that should be enough. Oh, just. Right, on there. And on there. And still, no checkpoint. It's horrible. Now, this bridge is terrifying. So, the best way to do it is to jump while in the centre. Because, as you can see, it moves and it tilts. Ooh, no, 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 no. Whew, just about made it. And then, we get a checkpoint. 
So the last checkpoint before that one was all the way over there. And it is horrible. It's such a bad placement of checkpoints. Right, next obstacle. Now, this one's quite fun, but it can be awkward. So all you have to do is just hope that you get the right lineup because some of them don't actually line up properly. So you just have to, yeah, hope that you get on the right one. And the same with all this, but this one's a lot harder because they all go in different directions. So the best thing to do is try and grab as close to that red point as possible. I, I seem to have worked out before, but as you can see, it doesn't always line up. So sometimes, because this one's not lined up right, I think I may need to go about there for it. No, that's still not working properly. Oh, let's try to go back to the centre then. It's so awkward sometimes because it's just hard to figure out. Some of it lines up perfectly, some of it doesn't. There we go, we got that one. And with this one, you actually want to grab it right on the edge like that because when you come up, you need to grab that. So you want to be right on the edge for it. And then it does that. Beautiful. Perfect. There we go. Up the stairs. Beautifully done. Come on. Up we go. We've got some more weapons laying around. There was a sword down the bottom there, but they don't really do much. And they're right at the end of the level, so I can show you them there as well. And then we come down here. Round here. Onto there. So much walking again. I don't know why they have to do all this. Why couldn't they just put a little drop-down bit on the other side? Like, There's no need for all that pathway. And now we're on to my, probably my most hated obstacle on the level. This absolutely terrifies me, and it's probably going to terrify me again. It's so horrible. So, off we go. On there. On there. Jump. Jump. Through the gap. Through the gap. No. 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 I'm getting panicked. I'm getting worked up again. Stop it. Right, where is the little gap again? There's a little gap somewhere. There's a little gap. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Where's the little gap gone? There it is. Go. Go. No, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. There we go. We got over. Right. Come on. I don't like the fact that you have to keep moving and jumping. Although, do I have to? Yeah. You have to jump. This one's the hardest one because there's no gap. So. Nope. Messed up. Messed up. Messed up. Messed up. No. Right. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's so horrible. Come on. Oh, okay, we're just going to have to hold on. Last time I managed to do it, just jumping over it. But I think this should be okay still. If I can do that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. It's terrifying. I've done it before and it still terrifies me. Oh. Luckily, there's a checkpoint here. So it's not too bad. Um, with these, you have to be careful. Because if you sort of try and push them over from the side there, it twists and it doesn't fall right. So what you actually have to do is stand in the middle here, look up, grab on, walk forward. And then it should start to tip. Slowly. There we go. Starting to tip. If I move back. Beautiful. There we go. And now we've got another bit that scares the life out of me. Because I am just the most panicked person in the world. Right. Up on that. Do you know what? Let's, um, we're going to go back and we're just going to prepare ourselves. Right. Okay. We need to get... It's because it just slips off because the colliders on this game are terrible. It doesn't like jumping forward. Uh, it makes no sense. I'm looking directly forward. I push directly forward and it jumps to the side. It's proper weird. Oh my god. Oh, come on. You're just making the video longer. Come on. Right. On there. On there. Right. Run. 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 Right. It's there. Come on. On there. Ooh, this is the hardest bit because you have to sort of get yourself lined up, but... Ooh, I'm zigzagging. I'm zigzagging. Stop it. Stop it. Right. Okay, that's that one done. Grab onto that one. Push it over. Eee, eee, come on. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. And off we go again. Now, obviously, it's the same pattern. I hate it. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. Right. Up on there. Get your balance. Right, go, go, 
Go. I'm, I'm wobbling. I'm wobbling. I'm off the edge. I'm off the edge. I'm off the edge. I don't know if I've got enough speed for the jump. I hate it. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. This is terrifying me just as much as when I first ever played this level. Jesus Christ. Right. There we go. Right, another thing that I like about this level is they've actually put this in as an obstacle, which not many levels have done. I don't think I've ever played a, a level where they've actually put in where you have to do a wall swing in the level. It's really, really weird, but really cool. Like, props to the creator for that, but I'm still giving the level massive down marks because of the checkpoint placement. Because even though I haven't died... It's still just stupid. Like, what if you did die on that bridge? You then massively back, and it's just horrible. And the thing is, they obviously know how to put checkpoints in because they've done it. So I don't know why they didn't place one in the right location there. I just, I don't get it. It's weird. Weird of them. Come on. Oh my god, I let go of both. I'm getting really panicked. It's horrible. Right, on there. Round we go again. I mean, I like the fact that they've put this wall swinging thing in, but they've made it go on for a very long time. <laughs> it's like the longest obstacle in the entire thing. It's just, I don't know. I don't know why they did it like this. They should have just done it halfway and that's it. Come on. On there. So much swinging around. On there. Come on. On there. Ooh. On there. We're almost there, guys. <laughs> We're almost there. Oh, I hate this obstacle. The thing is, I, I want to cut it out of the video. Just because it takes so long. But then you don't get the f proper feel of the level. So, I should really leave it in. But there we go. And then, the worst part is, we've now got to climb all the way back up. So... It was a pointless obstacle, really. Uh, up there. Up there. And, right, come on. Right, horrible bit now. Horrible bit, because you have to jump at exactly the right time. Come on, on there. Good, good. We're doing well. Yes. Come on. I really don't want to die. I want this to be my first video where I don't die. That's what I really want. Really want it to be the first level where I don't die. Right. So, yeah, you get to the top here and you think, yeah, I'm at the end. No, you're not. It's really annoying. But I have to say, I quite like the broth or soup or whatever it is in here. And that leads me up to a really good joke that I told in my first one. Probably not going to be as funny to me now. But is this a brothel? Because there's broth and there's a lot of hooks. So, everyone likes a hooker. There you go. It was, a, it was a much better joke. I said it a lot better as well when I first did it. But it's kind of lost its power now that I've had to redo this level. So, yeah. Right, on there. We're hooked on. And off we go. Wee! Oh, I love these things. Obviously, when you go down these, the best thing to do is to just sort of try and keep yourself in the middle. Because you don't want that hook to unhook as you're swinging down otherwise you could die and it is possible for that to happen and it goes on forever as well i don't know why they put so much in but we're, we're going well uh oh i'm getting myself a bit too far over to the left but i don't really want to move it too much come on come on there we go it is fun and that's actually quite a smooth zip line obviously i've played a lot of levels on this game now and a lot of the zip lines that people try and put in are very juddery sort of thing. Like, they're really bad. But, yeah. That one's actually a really smooth one. But it is a very fun level to play. And we are now at the end. Which, thank God for that. Because this level scares the life out of me. So, we could take a look around all the weapons. We've basically got a mace, sword. We've got some weird other bits and that. It's not that fun. But, I have to show you probably the most disappointing part of the level. It really annoyed me. But you've got a nice gong here. But if you hit it, it don't make a noise. It's so disappointing. Like They've put in so much. And you could just put in a sound box on that. So when it gets hit, it makes a little gong sound. 
Really annoying. But we are now at the end of the level. Little legs didn't die. Thank God for that. First level that I've ever done where he didn't die. So yay. <laughs> awesome. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And yeah, we're going to be bringing out some more series. I'm looking at doing some Ark, some Rust, loads of other games, maybe some Conan. And yeah, obviously, I'm going to be bringing Raft back. And I will be going on to an actual difficulty level, not peaceful. So I can get attacked by different animals on it now. So yeah, make sure to subscribe. That way you won't miss out on all of the future stuff that I have come in. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.